in this lecture i will be discussing some of the clauses with regard to welding from the is 800 2007 code so the first clause that i want to discuss is about clause 10.5.3 and this is about the effective throat thickness the effective throat thickness of a fillet weld uh, shall not be less than 3 mm and generally not exceed 0.7 times t or 1 time t under special circumstances where t is the thickness of the thinner plate of elements being welded okay so under this clause we have table 21 and we have something like this thickness of thicker part and we have columns like this so the first one thickness up to 10 mm we have to use a minimum size of weld of 3 mm so over 10 and including 20 it is 5 mm over 20 and including 32 it should be 6 mm over 32 and including 50 mm this should be 8 for the first run and 10 for minimum size of the weld okay so this table 21 is to be referred and the size of the weld is to be decided depending upon what the thickness of the plate is uh next to find out uh, for the purpose of stress calculation in the fillet welds joining faces inclined to each other the effective throat thickness shall be taken as k times the fillet size where k is a constant depending upon the angle between the fu uh, fusion faces this is clause 10.5.3.2 and the uh, k is given in table 22 so we have a table like this which is angle between fusion faces and the constant k so we have 60 degrees to 90 degrees 91 to 100 101 to 106 107 to 113 and 114 to 120 so in this case k is to be taken as 0.7 and it goes on reducing with increase in angle so in a problem when you're not given what is the angle that the fusion faces make we take we consider the k value as 0.7 also in clause 10.5.3.3 this clause talks about what should be the thickness of the uh, plate to be considered in case of complete penetration and uh, in uh, in case of incomplete penetration so this clause says that the thickness of the thinner part should be considered when it is a complete penetration and when it is a incomplete penetration the minimum uh, thickness of the weld metal common to the parts joined excluding to the reinforcements has to be uh, considered next uh, thing that uh, i would like to discuss is about the clause 10.5.8 in this clause uh there are sub clauses so it says that when 
a fillet weld is applied to a square edge of a part the specified size of the weld should generally be at least 1.5 mm less than the edge thickness in order to avoid washing down of the uh, exposed part okay so when we have two plates something like this and say this plate is 12 mm thick the maximum size of the well that is permitted here should be 12 minus 1.5 this is 1.5 mm and this is to avoid washing so the maximum size here this would be the, the this is called the leg of the weld and this would be 12 minus 1.5 next it uh, talks about when angles are to be connected so uh, this is clause 10.5.8.2 8 8.1 8 gives about uh, plates or square edges of plates or any square edge for that matter 10.5.8.2 gives about rounded toe of a rolled section so when we have an angle section we have a round like this okay so if this is my angle section which needs to be connected to a plate in this case when the fillet weld is applied to the rounded toe of a rolled section the specified size of the weld should generally not exceed three fourth of the thicknesses uh, thickness of the section of the toe okay so when i am applying a weld to such a section here I should leave a clearance of one fourth T, where T where T is the thickness of the toe. So these are the few things that I want you to remember while solving problems. This things need to be considered while designing uh, welded connections thank you